Division Showcase. The following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first, from Nuevo Laredo, Mexico, Laredo Kid. Former AAA Cruiserweight Champion, Laredo Kid, getting set for action here on TNA Explosion. I am so excited for us to get back to New Orleans, Louisiana for the first time in two years, two weeks away on Friday, February 23rd. It's No Surrender, live on TNA Plus, Triller TV, and YouTube for our Ultimate Insiders. But what action we have here tonight in Orlando? Oh, man, we've got so much action ahead of you, including this matchup right now. for the Knockouts World Championship via Giselle Shaw's ultimate X victory from Hard to Kill as a guaranteed Knockouts World title shot, and she is taking it at no surrender. Obviously, I think the words of the TNA Hall of Famer Gail Kim have got into the back of the head of Giselle Shaw. She did it on her own at Hard to Kill. Shaw won Ultimate X on her own. I didn't need the likes of Vidal or Evans that night. Yeah. Obviously, Vidal got, Vidal got on the nerves of Shaw. And, and sometimes that, that extra weight can weigh you down. Things that you think you might need are, are actually the things holding you back. All right, oh, kid. Oh, runs right through Jay Vidal. Vidal does have a great background in pro wrestling, so these are two very gifted athletes going at it right now. Oh, yes, absolutely. And and let's not forget that Laredo Kid, he filled in a very important spot at Hard to Kill when Trent Seven had travel issues and was not able to make it for our tag team matchup. Laredo Kid and Speedball Mike Bailey nearly pulled off a victory that night and pulled off a miracle as well, trying to capture the tag team titles. Vidal captures the bottom rope, and that'll break things up. The match continues between Vidal and Laredo Kid. Don't forget, still to come tonight, Jake Something in competition against the Indian Lion Shira, two heavyweights going at it. Oh, you're not going to want to miss a moment of it. Right now, Jay Vidal wishes he was missing all of this. It's, uh, it's a little bit cold outside of the Chantourage. Yeah, yeah. He's, 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 he's still getting his bearings. You know, he's going to find his place on his own. Oh, oh yeah, look at this. Ripping at the mask. Twisting the mask as well. Gaining an advantage here against Laredo Kid. Oh. Out of the corner. Oh. oh! Sets up for the suplex. A hurricane suplex. There's the cover. Presses the shoulders down and a kick out. David all out on his own, trying to pick up a victory on his own against Laredo Kid. There's a cover, hook to the leg, and a kick out. The doll and Laredo Kid continues on explosion. We are back here on TNA Explosion. Jay Vidal in command right now against Laredo Kid. Jay's trying to get his footing on his own, but it, it's, it's clear he has learned a few lessons from Giselle, his, his time in her corner. What do you think he learned? Oh! Methods! Oh. Boy, 
she likes her coffee, how to get her dry cleaning, oh, the type of food order she likes. Yeah. All those things, right? I don't know if they're serving him well here, uh, but I guess he learned a little bit. Missile drop kick there by Laredo Kid. Kid from the middle rope with the moonsault, flattening Jay Vidal. Chance of Lucha here in Orlando, Florida on TNA Explosion still to come tonight. Jake something goes one on one with the Indian Lion Shira. Jake something who picked up the victory in that X Division scramble match a few weeks ago on TNA Impact, the very first in the ring action of 2024 on Impact. Speaking of Impact. Oh! All in for one more, Uno Mas. These are not looking good for Vidal right now. Oh. Twisting into the elbow drop, up to the leg here, and Vidal able to kick out. Uno Mas! Uno Mas! Uno Mas! See, I'll say something that Jay has learned from being underneath Giselle's wing is resiliency. Oh! Case in point. Oh, my oh. gosh. Single leg kick there, calls that the Slaymore kick. Cover and a kick out. No, 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 no. Jay can't believe it. You're not gonna beat me. You're not gonna beat me. I'm Jay Vidal. You can't beat me. You're talking about hiding. He's your also face. learned some confidence. God. Arrogance. God. Sure. Try this up, perhaps, for another suplex there. Laredo Kid able to block there with his foot. Oh, oh now a suplex by Laredo Kid. Going for a second. And another one. He's got it. Is it time for the three amigos? Oh, oh. Yeah. pivots. <gasps> Look at the power of this Northern Lights suplex. Hooks the leg and a kick out. What a sequence wow. there by Kid. Oh, incredible. Great strength by Laredo Kid. And now Laredo Kid uh -oh. trying to end this matchup here, and Jay Vidal oh. twists into an insecurity there and a kip up. Oh, face first into the canvas, tucks that arm. Oh, and a oh. kick out there by Laredo Kid. Uh, see, methods, methods that he uh, may have learned. Oh, from Giselle Shaw is what yes. you're saying. Yes, sure. yes. Uh, you'll never beat me. You'll never beat me. Whatever way it takes. That's something that we can say about her. That's absolutely right. Giselle Shaw will be challenging for the Knockouts World Championship. Challenging the champion. Oh, Jordan Grayson, no surrender. Oh, great counter there by Laredo Kid of that hurricane suplex we saw earlier on in the matchup. Kid had an answer for oh, it. No. Going up top. Oh, no. Spanish fly. What's the old adage? Sometimes it pays to have friends, and I guess right now there's no pay coming to Jay Vidal after that because he has no friends. Right now, let's take a look back here at the conclusion of this matchup. This beautiful Spanish fly off the top from Laredo Kid, spelling the end for Jay Vidal. Incredible victory for Laredo Kid here on Explosion. Right now here on TNA Explosion, it's time for the Don West, you've gotta be kidding me, top five trending topics of the week in honor of the late great TNA Hall of Famer, Don West. Number five, it's been made official for no surrender. The Knockouts World Champion, Jordan Grace, fresh off a surprise appearance in WWE's Royal Rumble event, will defend her championship against the hard to kill Ultimate X winner, Giselle Shaw. It's the juggernaut and the quintessential diva for the TNA Knockouts World title, Friday, February 23rd in New Orleans at No Surrender.
number four. It was match one in the best of three series for the TNA World Tag Team titles. The grizzled young vets trying to take the TNA World Tag Team titles from the ABC. Ultimately, some illegal tactics used by Gibson and Drake of the GYV helped them go up one nothing over the ABC. So that means if the grizzled young vets win match number two, they will win the TNA World Tag Team titles from Ace and Bay. Number three, at no surrender, Moose will defend his TNA World Championship against Alex Shelley in Shelley's contractual rematch for the championship. This is now a no surrender match. Head to TNA social and digital platforms and of course TNAWrestling.com for all the information on this very specific match that is gonna go down live Friday, February 23rd in New Orleans at no surrender. Number two, speaking of no surrender, the X Division champion Chris Saban will be putting his championship on the line that evening in New Orleans against Mustafa Ali. Ali, who went so far as this week on Impact to sponsor a matchup featuring Chris Saban up against John Schuyler of the Good Hands. Quote, in Ali, we trust, plastered all over the broadcast. It's Saban and Ali for the X Division championship at no surrender. And then number one, as I mentioned moments ago, Jordan Grace shocked the pro wrestling world. The TNA Knockouts World Champion competing in WWE's Royal Rumble event recently. A huge moment, not only for TNA wrestling, but especially for Jordan Grace. You can take an in-depth look at Grace's entire experience at the WWE Royal Rumble event now on TNA social and digital platforms. Still to come, it's Jake Something taking on Shira in our Explosion main event. But up next, it's Around the Ring with Gia Miller. Welcome back to TNA Explosion, and now it's time for Around the Ring with Mean Gia Miller. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Around the Ring. As always, I'm Gia Miller, and today I'm joined by none other than Kevin Knight. Kevin, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Thank Let, you for having me. So, so the premise of this show is that we are not talking about wrestling. We want to get to know you outside of the ring, around the ring. Get it? For so, sure, for sure. Today, we're not going to the ring. Where, where are we headed? Tell us. Today we headed to the, not the ring, but we headed to the rink. The rink. The, the skating rink. The roller skating rink. We in there. I, I, I've, all I know is that you roller skate. <laughs> How on earth did you get started in this? Mm. What? Just go. Start. Go. Honestly, it was during the pandemic time. Oh, that's the mic right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was during the pandemic time, um, and, and we were just bored. Me and my ex, we were just bored, and we got some roller skates. And uh, in Atlanta, roller skating is a big culture of ours. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's very much, if somebody's from Atlanta, oh, you know they roller skate. Uh -huh. So we just started going down the belt line every day. Uh, my first few days, I had the biggest scar, like, uh, coming all the way down my leg. Oh. It hurt more than wrestling, to be honest. Oh, I'm sure. Concrete. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, you know, it just kept going. Um, it has so much fun. You can listen to so many different uh, types of music. Mm. You meet so many different types of people. Sure. Um, and it's my way of going out now. I don't, I'm not really a club person, not too much anymore nowadays. So I just go out to the roller rink. Well, that makes so much sense, honestly. Because <laughs> uh, if for those of you who don't know, uh, Kevin Knight, he's a good boy. He's, he's a real good boy. I'll be chilling. And, be chilling. and he, he's very chill. And <laughs> that makes sense that that's your going out. And it also makes sense because you're so, like, incredibly athletic. Wow. I, yeah. so this, I almost let this slip before the camera started rolling. I actually cannot roller skate at all. But I, I'll show you a few things. Uh, when you say you can't roller skate, what do you mean? Uh, I tried to get a job at Sonic when I was in high school because <laughs> my mother was obsessed with the idea of me roller skating, and yeah. she had me practice with my sister's roller skates. Yeah. And I was literally just, <laughs> and then I went flat on my back. Yes, I yes, was, yes. I was, it was not. You are not the only one. Okay. Everybody starts somewhere. Okay, so. Everybody starts somewhere. So what, are there any tips you can give me? Tips and tricks, it's all in the toes. It's okay. all in the ankles. It's all in the small ligaments that we forget about when we're in the weight mm. room, you know? Mm -hmm. So it really gets your balance right. Okay. Honestly, uh, one time I had a, a calf injury, a hamstring injury, and I just went to the roller rink that night, and it literally rehabbed me that night. Wow. Because it, it uses all those small muscles. So I use it as a workout as well. 
instead of oh that. sure yeah so. yeah that that I mean it's I feel like you have to be explosive especially like I see people like on TikTok doing <laughs> tricks like yeah. they're in like the in the bowls doing you gotta stuff. be an athlete to really skate man. it's crazy what really people do. can do it's crazy uh, but I I mean we're we're talking a lot of talk but uh. <laughs> I see a bag down here. Yeah. Do you have a? Do you have something that I, that you I, might want to show me? I got I got a little something uh, I brought with me. I always keep the skates with me. Okay. Be you never and know when the rink goes. That, that's up. how you know that it's serious. Like it's not just some little hobby and, that you might have done one time. And these if are, you've got it with you. <laughs> and these are oh! exclusive Stacy Adam. Wow. Stacy Adam skates. This is how we roll in the West Coast. I lived in LA for a while. Okay. And. The world of roller skating, there's not just one style of skating. Yeah. There's so many different styles. L.A., uh, Chicago, Atlanta, Jersey, you all have different styles. So in L.A., they like to use the Stacey Adam boot with these fiberglass wheels, and these have no grip at all. So yeah. you, you slip They're in and so slide. Small. Yeah, yeah. So these types, it feels like you uh, sliding on the floor when you got baby powder, you know, oh, with the socks on and everything. Yeah, yeah. So, so these types, it's, it's amazing. When people see these, we're like, what kind of skates are those? Yeah. So, I mean, it looks like a dress shoe yeah, almost. These yeah. are snazzy. So, you know, you you uh, get your roller skating fit on. You can match it up however you want. So I can match the blue oh. and everything. It's a whole vibe. Yeah. Oh, that's and that's a beautiful blue, too. For sure. Wow. For sure. Uh, and and just so we're clear, this we, 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 we're not messing around with rollerblading. <laughs> rollerblading? No. Rollerblading, we can do that on the outside. Yeah. We don't this, really bring that to the ring. Yeah. You know? No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a different style. Like I said, yeah. the, the world of roller skating, I didn't know before I got into it's it. We got skate world. crews. We have um, politics. We have uh, people that like each other, people that don't. Sure, so, sure. Some rivalries in there. Yeah, there's definitely rivalries. I had no idea. Yeah. It really is just like this, uh, the movie Roll Bounce, ATL. Have oh, you already seen it? I haven't. I have to watch that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay. Well, so Jody's coming back because she has to teach me how to do a kickflip. Okay. Um, okay. I think we're gonna have to do another episode. We're gonna have to do a follow up. Yes, we uh, gotta get some footage. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to get some big wheels though. <laughs> um, some ones with lots and lots of uh, stability. Yep. Lots yep. of stability. Uh. But thank you so much for sharing this. Like, <laughs> I, I think everybody's gotten to know you. Uh, at a whole new level, yeah. I certainly have. Any anybody watching this, y'all want to come to the rink with me? Please hit me up because this is this is what I do when I'm not in the ring. Well, do you want to give any shout outs to your to your to roller? my people? Uh, I'm a I'm a solo skater. Okay. I'm a solo skater, right. so I go in there, I do my thing. So shout outs to Cascade, shout outs to Chino out in LA, shout outs to Fountain Valley. You know they know who I'm talking to, but um, we always get it cracking when we get to the ring. Wow. So. Uh, <laughs> this has just been incredible. We're definitely going to have to have a part two, three, four, and five. We definitely will. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Yes. This has been Around the Ring, and this has been a whole new look at <laughs> Kevin Knight. Thank you. Up next, we go back in time. It's From the Vault, presented by TNA+. Plus. Welcome back to TNA Explosion, and now it's time for From the Vault, presented by TNA+. Plus. That got him, got his head hooked a little bit. With, you feel more defenseless than when yeah. you're taken up into the air with your arm wrapped behind your Absolutely. back and slammed down with all your weight on it? Yes, I don't like that move. I think, I think Pope's got a key lock on back there. We can't really see. I think he's got a key lock. It's not your basic hammer lock. That's, he's got a key lock grip, I believe, the way his, under, his uh, hand is Looks underneath. Like he's got it cinched yeah, and, and reached through with yeah. the grip. Yep, that'd be a key lock. Yeah, he had to let go of it, though, because of the body shots by Anderson. His men are just exchanging, well, they're both man. laying him in Holy there. crap, the nap of each other. The second that somebody misses, like the Pope, Anderson follows up. Two close lines and a back elbow. Look at that. Wow. Don't, don't see that often. I don't think I've seen Anderson, Anderson do that. Enough. Two. Hey, hey. That was pretty sweet full right there. Full Anderson. revolution. He told me earlier he's going to have something new. I didn't know it was going to be like uh, a la Bruce Lee. Show my age on that one. Well, if there is a match <laughs> that you bust something out new, it's got to be this one. You can pop for the Bruce Lee line. <laughs> well, Mike. Hope able to hook the ropes. The back body drop attempt come back to haunt. Oh, Anderson to down. Now. Yeah, on the shoulder. You see that? Bad landing yep. for De Niro. 
I have had shoulder injuries during matches. I actually won a TV title with a popped out shoulder. And it is one of the most painful things that can happen to your body during a match. To compete with a shoulder issue sucks. And both men focusing their attack on the shoulders of their opponents is... Oh, God. De Niro not able to fight Look back as Anderson drives the boot into the gut and then just grinds away. Again to the hammer lock. Imagine the pain that that shoulder is in right now. Oh, oh. Oh. Driven to the corner, turnbuckles. Anderson on top for the pin. I think Anderson wanted to try and get a cradle, but he couldn't. And when De Niro kicked out at two, you could sense from the look on the face of Anderson, the eye contact that he had with the referee Earl Hebner, just how upset he was that he wasn't able to put De Niro away. Right back on him again offensively. Any time that Anderson could take a shot towards that shoulder blade of the Pope, he does. And I think that's very smart of Mr. Anderson. But Pope, Pope no quitting my man right here. He's bringing it. He is bringing it. And he got nailed. Wow. Again, the shoulder, he just can't follow up. Explodes out of the corner. The running clothesline. Anderson going right for the pin. See, how, uh, see that, Mike, he how gingerly... He even to roll the shoulder. Yeah, how gingerly Pope had a kick out and you know, pop his shoulder up a teeny little bit. Oh, man. Look at that. There's Key again. Yep. This time it's Anderson oh. with that key lock. Just ragdolling the arm of the Pope, trying to pull apart his rotator cuff, AC joint. Look, man, you know what? We've heard the expression, this is not ballet, it's a physical game. But this has been a physical night, to say the least. Jeez. You're right. In the opening match yeah. for the tag titles, all the way through the first semifinal, and the physicality continues here with the knee driven right into the gut. Well, that's because we're heading to bound for glory, baby. 10, 10, 10. I mean, we're heading for bound for glory. All bets are off. You got to pick your game up. And our roster definitely did that tonight. Which one of these men will compete in the finals against? We don't know who. Oh. At Bound for Glory for the world title. Controversial situation that's got to be addressed by TNA management. Is and Kurt Angle left the. He, he obviously his career is not over because he didn't lose the match, but he didn't win the match. So, you know that was part of his own stipulation. And Anderson now staying on top of that shoulder and arm of the post. There's Mike. Get him, Mike. Oh. Almost painful just watching the Pope I, try and avoid uh, the three counts as you see him. I don't Mike, get that shoulder roll. I've been there, and I, I don't, you're right. I've had that pain, and it telling you it freaking hurts. You can't explain unless it's happened to you. And there's so much at stake here for both of these men. And now, you know, for Pope to deal with that old injury, that was caused by Mr. Anderson. And now it resurfaces. That's tough for Pope. Oh, oh, man. You see that? Full That's speed close with lines. those clotheslines and... Like a helicopter. Both men go flying and both down. Both men are flat back. So important to see who gets to his feet first and who can take control of this match. Pope trying to get the congregations, trying to get behind the Pope. The A-holes are trying to get behind Anderson. Boy, fighting and battling with everything they've got. Forearm by the Pope really got him right in the face. Pope's got some sing behind those shots, I'm yeah, telling you. Yeah, but you can see, even though he's laying in the blows, that he's feeling the impact of it throughout his upper body. Inverted. Caught him with the atomic drop. Yeah, motion that he was going to go for the shoulder of Anderson, and he does. Flying shoulder block by De Niro.
Anderson got him set up. across the ropes. Got him set up. Comes. Oh! Go on! Yeah, he's trying to fight through Pope. Trying to fight through, but he keeps going back. Rolls into the cover. Here's two. Drives the boot right into the head, right into the face of Anderson. And here goes the Pope, headed out. Gonna go to the top rope. Yeah, Pope, Pope not moving, moving up too quickly there. Oof. Comes back to haunt him. Anderson cuts him off. Who's your pick here, Mike? Come on, give me one. Boy, at, at, at this point, yeah. it's it's about dead even. Not Field to me. Up. I'm going with Anderson. You're going to go with Anderson? Yeah, I, I think Anderson's yeah, looking good here. Well, there's the potential here. If he can connect with this superplex, the damage that it might do to the to the shoulder. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Look at Anderson. Uh, uh, right across the back and the shoulder blade area. What the hell's Anderson going to do here, Mike? Yeah, you said he was going to bust everything out tonight because of the importance of this match. Might be going, might be going for a top rope superplex, super duperplex. Pope fighting it off, right hands to the rib cage, headbutt stops oh. Anderson who oh, oh. drops down. God. Oh, De Niro favoring the shoulder, just trying to get the blood flowing back, trying to get movement and motion in the shoulder. Wait a minute. Oh, look, 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 Watch this. Look out. Pope's look out. Look out. Look out. Oh. <laughs> oh, he caught Anderson flush, but it, it, is it one of those moves where maybe it, it does equal damage to the Pope because of the way that he came off the top with his shoulder as, as he rides in pain? That's why you saw the facial expression by the Pope before he did what he just did. He was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go for it. Yeah, you'll see right here. Watch this. Oof. Yeah, wow, you're right, Mike. Wow. Yeah. You see how he, right on that left shoulder. Looked like he hit his right elbow, too. I, I mean, heat of the battle, I guess you can't blame the Pope. He saw that opening. Thought he was going to take advantage of it, but let's see if it works for him. Well, Mike Anderson pay rolled off. in. Here we go. Two. A little nuance right there. You see how Pope shifted his weight on the cover, put all his body weight on the face of Anderson, but to no avail. Oh, here we go. Down. Could be sizing him up. Looks Express time. The, yeah, the DDE, the D'Angelo De Niro Express. Counter, counter, though. Well, for Mike Check, no. Oh. No chance for the Mike Check with the elbows. Another counter, go behind. Oh! Watch the cover. He's going in. He's going he in. Here's two. Barely did the Pope get the shoulder up before three. Man, look at that face right there of Anderson. A guy who's determined, hell-bent on advancing the bound. Look, look, glory. Oh, oh, but how about the, the intensity title. of the Pope? Oh! That might there be it. Is. That might be it. He did it. Had him stacked up, had the far leg hook, but Anderson still powers out. I thought for sure Anderson was toast. Drags Anderson back out to the middle. It almost looked like the, the Pope was going to try and, and beat Anderson with his own move. Arm drag. Yeah. He didn't get all of it, but he stop. had a little bit of an arm drag Enough there. To stop the mic check. There's a mic check coming. Oh, didn't stop at that time. Oh, he got him. Got him. They got him. Here's one. They got Here's him. two. Oh. <laughs> didn't anticipate that the Pope would, would kick out before three after the mic check. Anderson right back on him again. Pope fights back out of the corner. Anderson now stacked up in the rights and the left. Look at these shots here. Oh, he's going to the head, he's going to the body. Yeah, Pope hitting Anderson like he owes him money. Ooh, all kinds of strikes by the Pope. Uh, yeah, he better pull out all the stops. He's got to turn it up, Pope. Here it comes. 
sets up for the DDE. Oh, missed the express. Oh, oh. there it is. Caught him with the mic Shot the hip, again. shot the hip. Two. Got him. And got, and got the win. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, Mr. Anderson. There it is, baby. He advances. Anderson advances to the final for the world title. Up next, it's Jake something going one on one with Shira in our explosion main event. Thank you for tuning in on TNA Plus and TNA Social and Digital Platforms. Right now, it's time for our main event. The action continues tonight in Orlando on Explosion. Fall Contest is set for one fall. Introducing first, Jake Something. God dang it. He is something, ain't he? Jake Something has been on quite the roll as of late. Just a few weeks ago on Impact, won a six-man X Division scramble. It was the first match to occur on TNA Impact in the new year. And Jake Something leaving his mark. Jake Something, frankly, through the bulk of 2023 in this company, stood out in whatever division he stepped into tonight, he's gonna have to deal with a fellow heavyweight force. His opponent, from Punjab, India, he is the Indian Lion, Shira. Just a few weeks ago here on TNA Explosion, we saw Shira tangle with Rhino. The Man Beast got the better of that exchange. Rhino, of course, last week here on Explosion, got a victory against Champagne Singh, the running buddy of Shira. And after the matchup, Rhino was assaulted from behind by the TNA Digital Media Champion, Crazy Steve. I eloquently referred to that matchup between Shira and Rhino as a big meaty men slapping me. Uh, that just pales in comparison to what's about to happen in this ring right now. My friend Tor would appreciate you saying that right now. Something set to tangle with Shira. Of course, we are just a few weeks away from No Surrender. Friday, February 23rd in New Orleans. No Surrender will be live on TNA Plus, Triller TV, and YouTube for Ultimate Insiders. You can get your tickets now via TNAWrestling.com. And during Mardi Gras, no less. Well, you're gonna have a blast. I'll, I'm curious if we even see you at the venue. I'm gonna be blessed. Shira and something tying up early here. Jake, something is such explosive athleticism. Meanwhile, Shira, he, he made it extremely difficult for Rhino a few weeks ago. He, he certainly did. I mean, look at this. Look at these oh two bulls goodness. tossing each other around the ring. Tom, I ain't been to a rodeo in a while, but. Now I kind of got the itch to go to one. Bit of a stalemate here see early. Some bull <laughs> Think he can stay on for eight seconds? It's entirely possible. A pair of 265 pounders. I think I might put Shira at like 275, maybe 280. Just an absolute monster. Send something into the rope. God, that thud. I see the way Shira just shook that off. A little sign of respect yeah. there between something and Shira. Two big man. Big respect for some big man. Oh, now rushing at each other and something gets the better. Gets the better of that exchange with Shira. We were perfectly in sync. Yes, we are. Always are. <laughs> And Shira getting back up to his feet. He certainly felt that one. He shrugged off the one previously, but Jake something establishing dominance here in this match. Correct me if I'm wrong. I thought I saw a little bit of a smile on Jake something's face. He looks like he's, oh. I was going to say, enjoying this matchup, but I don't know how you can enjoy strikes like that. And now Shira feigned that sign of sportsmanship there just to sucker in something. Ah. Oh, now Shira. Oh, look at this. Oh, sending something into the top turnbuckle. 
And Shira. Shira slamming something to the mat. Here's the cover. Hook to the leg. And a kick out at one there by Jake Something. And Shira obviously frustrated by the circumstance. Jake Something so difficult to put away. Something I'm curious if Frankie Kazarian will discover in the near future after the exchange between Something and Kazarian this past week on TNA Impact. Shira ultimately in this matchup had to feign a sign of sportsmanship to gain an advantage against Shira that not many are able to get. Right to the midsection. It almost felt wrong seeing Jake something lifted up that way, just muscled up by Shira. Not too many. Oh, man. It, the TNA wow. are, are capable of this. And look at this stalling hey. suplex here on a 265 pounder. Cover. Hook to the leg and a kick out there by something. These men are massive and massively impressive. Jake something has been in battles here in TNA. His first night back in the company this past summer was an ultimate exit slam anniversary and absolute war. Oh, and look at something. I talked about it before the break. That explosive power of something. And again, favoring the lower back there, although just clubbed from behind by Shira. Who can forget Jake something's battle at emergence with then IWGP world champion Sonata. Jake something has had some fantastic opportunities here in the last year. Absolutely, and he is definitely one to watch in 2024. The world is this man's oyster. Knee right to the midsection. A back ball of Jake something in a lot of pain right now. And Shira continues to try and wear down Jake something. Using the bulk of the five count here. Knee pressing the neck right into the rope. Making it difficult for something to breathe. Now Shira. Shira just trying to negotiate Jake something towards the middle of the ring. It's the elbow drop. Now something. Oh, that spine. Into the turnbuckles of Jake, something's in some trouble right now. See, this is one of those times when being a big man, it, it works against you. It makes that impact that much more damaging. At least I would think so. I don't know. I'm not a big man. Well, if you ask our reigning TNA world champion, Moose, that is exactly what he enjoys on a regular basis. Be defending his championship against Alex Shelley and Shelley's contractual rematch. Come no surrender Friday, February 23rd, live on TNA Plus Triller TV and YouTube for Ultimate Insiders. Not something or nothing. Oh, harsh words from Shira. And Shira really taking his time here with something. Uh -oh. Big clubbing blow uh -oh. across the chest, but look out. Uh oh. All right, something once more. Something with these big forearm blasts in response. And the damage back into the turnbuckles. Able to sidestep Shira. Shira goes down. What a run. A huge shot with the right there by Jake something, and Shira went down hard. Not too many men who can deliver a strike like that and put Shira on his back. No, and not many that can get up from a strike like that. But for a clothesline, and now revisiting what we saw earlier on in the matchup, strength for the strength, and something able to win. Oh, he's like butter, he's on a roll. And something out of the corner, shoulder first into the midsection of Shira. And now Jake uh -oh. something. Oh, I'm oh. the damage done to the back, and it just got worse. Oh. Jake something and that adrenaline flowing went for the power bomb. Uh -oh. And now Shira went to the throat. Uh -oh. Something and Shira. Dead even between these two right now, an explosion. 
Explosion.